So first of all, and the is first of all, they will provide that is the theoretical information, and then they will help you performing, you know, making changes in the audio and editing audio. You have success. And uh, will give you a chance of hands-on with the help of the software which they are going to show. So I would like to welcome Ajit Kuru sir and the English ma'am. So Good morning, sir and ma'am. Similarly, we have 218 experiments, 218 simulations. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, I before sir and ma'am will start, I assure all of you that all of you are going to enjoy this session a lot. So, be ready. And over to sir and ma'am. Uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, we are so happy to be in the midst of you and thanks for the technology that uh, we had this opportunity that while being at uh, the great distances, we can see each other, we can understand each other and we can listen to each other. So I am Ajit and uh, I am here in CIT in the radio department. Good morning to all of you. I am Vimlesh Chaudhary. I am also radio producer here. Uh, so we expect this morning to be a wonderful morning. And uh, uh, we expect that all of you are going to uh, learn so many, I mean, new things. A uh, few things are there which are very, I mean, which are very important, which I would like to share. Before we uh, go to the session and we go to the real content, I would like to share with you a wonderful story. And the story goes like this. And the story is directly connected to uh, your profession, I would like to tell you. Like all of you are the teachers, so would like to share a very uh, a very popular Greek story. A Greek story is there and uh, we have produced a program on that also, isn't it? Yes. Uh, we have produced. So um, I heard about a painter and he was a wonderful painter. And he drew so many wonderful paintings and in the entire Athens. Athens used to be the, I mean, capital of the Greece. Greece. And... Uh, uh, he was a very popular person, you know. At the same time, uh, my dear friends, uh, we would like to request you kindly to respond. Uh, I mean, kindly to res uh, I mean, uh, respond back. Uh, respond back so that uh, we also know that we are being heard. Yes. Okay, so uh, if you like the story, uh, you can just say that we are being inspired. If you like something else, you can comment, you can also raise the question. So uh, I was talking about the Greek painter and once he uh, painted a wonderful Excellent, painting. Go ahead. Aja, thank you. So thank you, sir. Ah, thank you so much. So, and uh, as I shared in the uh, in the beginning, that this is directly connected to you, and also this is directly connected to us also. Yes. As we are the professionals. Okay. So, uh, it was a wonderful painting, and it was so wonderful that the day when it was exhibited, so many people came, they attended, and they all were filled with appreciation. They appreciated the painting very much, and uh, it was the painting of a dancer. Yes, and it was a beautiful uh, I mean dancer. So after he created this and after he got the appreciation, you know, uh, he thought one thing that nothing uh, good or nothing better can be made. Nothing better can be made out of this. This is one of the uh, I must say picture. he he thought that it is the grand finale. Nothing, nothing can be done. And he used to talk to the painting. He used to sit with the painting and and he stopped doing the painting work. What happened then he, he was satisfied with his performance. Later on, what happened one day when he came that he, and he saw one thing there. And uh, one thing was there that the entire, I mean, canvas was, uh, I mean, cut with the knife and uh, so many paints were there and the entire photo, entire, I mean, image was disrupted. He was very angry. And he was just asking who did it, who did it? And then his teacher appeared his teacher appeared and he said that I have done it and I have done it just because of one thing, because you have stopped your creativity. You must continue with your creativity because you have stopped and you are thinking that this is the grand finale. Nothing can be done. Do you know about the Michelangelo? He also said that after this, I won't be able to create anything. So my dear friends would like to say that we might be satisfied in our career. Mm -hmm. We may be thinking that we have done our level best, but uh, there are greater heights. There are grand heights which we need to achieve, isn't it? Yes. So... Uh, we thank you so much. So I am Ajit and uh, she is Vimlesh and along with us, uh, our friend uh, Mayank is there who is going to help us in the uh, uh, session, in the session, in the um, uh, 
in the operations. So now we are going to uh, the topic actually. Now we are going to uh, deal with the subject, uh, which is very important for you. And uh, at the same time, we would like to expect your messages also. Uh, if it is going on well, if you say that, uh, see, uh, it must be basically a reciprocity. So now we go to slide one and uh, So Namaskar, uh, it's a, a wonderful opportunity to be with all of you. Story all of you have heard and uh, we know that the art or the creativity, it knows no boundary. Yes. So let us now move to the next height and we are going to talk about the radio uh, this uh, morning. So first of all, I believe that all of you know about it, but yet we would like to repeat it. Uh, slide number two. And uh, here is a question that what is e-content? I would like to ask now Vimlesh, what is e-content? What do you understand by this? Uh, yes, sir. E-content means any content produced electronically. Electronically, uh, yes. It can be also called digital content. Hmm. Uh, it is created, produced, disseminated through any electronic medium. That is e-content. E-content can be a text, an image. It can be an audio, video. It, it can, can be a simulation. Be a simulation also. Hmm. So what we are making through electronically and produced through electronically and broadcasting through electronically, that is e-content. So you are saying that anything that is produced digitally, digitally or yes. being broadcast, yes. that is the e-content. E -content, okay. Right. So we are going to deal with the e-content this morning. But at the same time, one more question comes to my mind. And uh, uh, when we go to the next slide right now, and here we see that uh, national education policy. Yes. And uh, But <laughs> our question will be like uh, all of you, I will not say all of you, but some of you must have heard. Right. And uh, nowadays, it can be a notion that what is the scope of the radio? Mm -hmm. We are in the education. Okay, this is a training organized. So, right. well, we are compelled to attend it. But uh, now let us go to the justification of uh, the, uh, I mean, radio. So, the we are going to talk uh, in terms of the national education policy. And uh, my question to Vimlesh will be right now yes. that uh, how the NEP mm -hmm. or how the national education policy is connected to the radio? Okay. What should we expect as uh, right now the participants of this uh, 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 I mean uh, I mean creating the e-content for the radio yes mm -hmm. uh, if we are talking about the future of radio in regard to the NEP mm -hmm. in fact as far as the NEP is concerned NEP strongly recommends use the maximum possible of radio in uh, education sector. Uh, to use the maximum possible, possible use of radio uh, okay right in education sector so it is stated by NEP itself yes, isn't it uh, yes 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 anything else and, uh, one thing I would like to add that radio, when we talk about the radio, we should not focus on mechanical set. Mechanical set means uh, the so radio old set. Old huh? yes, old old one. One. Okay, okay, okay. Huh? In fact, we should consider only on audio. Huh? Audio. Yes. We In are saying radio, but uh, we must focus on audio. Only. Audio, okay, yes, right? Sir. Right, hmm. huh? Audio, there can be a podcast, there can be a broadcasting through mobile. So we are focusing on audio only, hmm. not a mechanical set, that old one set. So uh, when we are talking about the radio, in yes. fact, uh, as I understood, as you have hmm. said, that right. uh, we are talking about the audio. Audio only. Sir. So audio means hmm. the podcast. Podcast. It can be the broadcasting through the mobile. Yes, Anything sir. else. Hmm. Okay, so basically it hmm. is the audio. That's yes. why the I mean title of this I mean program is creating the e-content. Hmm. Yes, uh, sir. Um, E-resources e for the radio, right? Yes. So or, uh, uh, I would yes. like to add also hmm. NEP suggests the use of radio because it reaches far flung areas. Right. Here there is no access of TV or internet. Uh -huh. It can be reached far flung areas. So radio has maximum possibilities. Yeah, that has the maximum possibility. And my dear friends, I would like to say there's a wonderful quote. Yes, and sir. that quote is that uh, after the sun beams, after yes. the sun rays, yes. it is a rays of the radio that covers the face of the earth most. Yes, sir. Right, that, is, sir. that is one of the very famous quotes. So right. we must uh, feel very, I must say, we must feel very privileged right, that right. Uh, now we are dealing with the audio. audio. And uh, when we talk about the audio, we may forget later on. I would yes. like to say to you right now that... Uh, uh, Audio business or the, uh, I mean, audio processes, it is a wonderful process in which we make people see through their ears. Yes. So yes. now let us go to the next. And uh, when we are going to the next uh, 
one very important question and all of you can see here uh, bilingually it is written and the question is that that is radio unpopular what is uh, what will be your answer Bimlesh uh, when we talk about because uh, I remember uh, once when I was here and uh, I think it was uh, five years back mm -hmm. I was here and uh, yes. one very senior person he asked me mm -hmm. what do you do I said sir I, I produce the radio program mm -hmm. So he said, but who listens to the radio, radio program? Who yes. listens to the radio? Hmm. But what is the, uh, I mean, present scenario today? Um, what do you think? Yes. If I would say my answer is blunt, no. Okay, blunt, no. Yes. No, and that is also blunt. Blunt, yes, Okay, right. right? Hmm. So you are very emphatic on that, Beautiful. isn't it? Beautiful. Right? Hmm? Because we start our day with the radio only. Hmm? Or we can say FM only. First thing, what we do when we sit in our cars, we begin with the radio. We so, begin with the radio, right. I so, also, today when I was coming yes. to office, hmm. I also, I mean, played the FM. Right. Right, hmm. right. So, yes, it is unpop unpopular at all. Not unpopular at all. It is not unpopular at all. Yes. Uh, any uh, very popular example that you would like to illustrate on this? Uh, I would like to add, we can take the example of Man Ki Baat. Hmm, Man Ki Baat, uh -huh. yes. Honorable Prime Minister chose this medium to reach the larger audience. Mm -hmm. He also chose that medium, audio or we can say radio hmm. for the uh, interact to the large audience. So uh, we can reach by a radio to the larger audience. Huh. So thank you very much for the deliberations. And uh, I would like to say that uh, at the same time, uh, I was going through a research and that research says that uh, uh, in the cosmopolitan cities, yes. also, in the, also in the metropolitan, uh, I would like to say that 67%, uh, this is the research, 67% of the total population in right. the cosmopolitan cities, they shape their public opinion by listening to the radio. radio Even radio. this is radio nowadays, which controls the market. Right. So if it controls the market, which is very powerful, uh, I must say, the segment of the society, uh, why can't it control the education? It right. can also control the education. So now we are going to going to the next. And uh, before we are coming to the main content, we go to the next slide. And here are some very interesting questions. Yes. So I would like to say that every medium has strength strengths and, and at the same time the weaknesses yes sir. so we are going to talk in very short and we are going to talk about the strengths of the radio yes what is the strength so when you are listening to uh, us when you are attending this session we all must be able to understand the strengths of the radio because unless we know the strength we won't be able to exploit it properly right so what are the strengths of the radio point number one says uh, it's more economic more if economic we are talking about the radio radio is more economic uh, medium of communication. Hmm. It is affordable e even for the lower income group. Yeah, so even for the lower income, income group. group. That's very yes. important because yes. so many, I mean, parents, they cannot afford yes. uh, the, I mean, expensive education. So you have said it's very economic. Uh, yes. It's very economic. Yes, uh, right. Affordable for the lower income group, hmm. group also. Yeah. And uh, when we are talking about easily movable, radio is easily movable. It does not require much uh, efforts to carry. Right, right. Um, so, it's very light, na? Right. Uh, even in mobile, we have the radio. Yes. Right. Hmm. So it's very easy to carry. Easy to carry. So it is not that complicated as we have to carry the, I mean, other devices. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's very easy to carry. Easy to yes. carry. Yes. And uh, it's allow multitasking also. Uh, it says further that mm. it allows multi multitasking. Tasking. Okay, yes. multitasking. Uh, uh, what do you mean by this? Uh, while listening to the radio, one do can walking, jogging, hmm. gardening, hmm. farming, hmm. driving, so on. So we can do multitask with the radio. Ah, so radio is a medium that allows multitasking. multitasking. Okay. So this is one of the strengths, of course, yes. that I'm listening to a wonderful music. And at the same time, I'm jogging also. We can or, do study also. Ah, we can do study also. And uh, uh, right, I'm listening to a wonderful piece of music. And, yes. at, and at the same time, I can also do the gardening. gardening. And uh, the science also says that if the music is there in the garden, it also impacts on the plants. Yes, isn't sir. it? So it's wonderful. So it allows the multitasking. The next point that comes, and uh, all of you can see on the slide, and that is the wider reach uh, in tough and uh, wider reach in tough geographical uh, conditions or the geographic uh, or the geographical areas what do you mean by this uh, as you know that uh, there are far flung areas uh, in our country like so many mountainous terrain yes, and, and so many areas when uh, there's a wonderful word that's called the impregnable, uh, very difficult to reach. And uh, when there is no access of the internet yes, and at the same time, the access of the television. So as we have said, uh, as I quoted earlier, that uh, uh, after the sun rays, 
after the sun rays, radio rays have the maximum coverage yes. on this planet Earth. Earth. So uh, uh, it can reach to the most uh, difficult geogra uh, geographical, geographical areas, areas also, in tribal areas, in forests, and in the, in the areas we cannot even imagine about. One point more, and that is there that it's very effective in natural calamities. And I remember one thing. Uh, do you remember the, I mean, cyclone in Andhra Pradesh? It was 1977, I think. And even at, at the time of any natural, I mean, calamities, radio has proved to be uh, like an angel medium, yes. I would like to say. And I remember that so many people, those who were lost uh, in the flood or in or in the cyclone, and they were taken to the, I mean, shelters, and uh, just they were listening to the radio, radio. that uh, uh, perhaps we can get a good news about our relatives. So right. how uh, how can we imagine, like I'm, I'm finding out that uh, where is my dear one? And at the same time, I'm listening to an announcement on the radio that uh, uh, Mr. So-and-so, we are so happy to announce that we have, uh, that we have... Uh, that we have discovered or that we have with us uh, your brother so i will be very happy so yes. radio brings the good news yes. good news is a wonderful word okay good news and uh, the next is radio uh, allows more imagination yes sir and the next is uh, it uh, uh, it allows no screen time yes sir yes uh, radio needs no screen time during covid 19 we have seen that uh, students were dependent only on screen for studying purpose, for the playing purpose, entertainment purpose, they are dependent only on screen. Ha, studied for, yes. I mean, I mean, five hours. Yes, and, sir. And yes. after that, if they required the entertainment, yes, again, sir. the screen. Yes, uh, screen. Right. So it caused problem for the eyes. So in radio, there is no such uh, strain. Hmm. So uh, in radio, no screen time is required. Ha, no screen time is required. So now we move on to the next. And now we come to a very important question. And uh, the question is not question; it is a terminology. Yes. And would like to say broadcasting. Yes, sir. Uh, Hindi may we say sandhi vichhed, okay? Yes, but in sir. English uh, we don't have the sandhi vichhed. But when we talk about broadcasting, there are two words I can yes, see sir. here. Uh, the two words are broad plus cast. Broad plus cast. Yes. So broad means very wide. Wide area. And uh, casting means to put. To put. Uh, yes, sir. To actually uh, throw. throw. Okay. Hmm. So. Uh, uh, we have spoken this word for so many times. Yes, broadcasting, and broadcasting, 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 recording. Hai na? But yes, uh, now we have to understand it minutely. minutely. We are going to a little bit of detail of this word. And uh, what do we mean by the broadcasting? So what do you understand by this? Uh, when electronic magnetic signals are cast on vast geographical areas and covers vast areas, distance, that is broadcast. Achha, that is broadcast. Like yes. uh, I would like to give you an, an example. We are right now connected through the internet. Yes, sir. But sometimes on the broadcasting, I used to like, uh, just I am using this mic yes. microphone. Okay. Right. So like, uh, hello friend, it's uh, a wonderful morning and we welcome you in our program. And uh, this program is being, being broadcast by C-I-E-T-N-C-E-R-T. I am Ajit. I am Vimlesh. Uh, thank you very much that uh, I am... Uh, we are right now speaking from Delhi, but right now we have a message from Assam and uh, that listener is writing right now that I enjoy your program very much. And I got a message from Tamil Nadu also. Achha, from Tamil Nadu. Yes. So one message we have from Assam, one from Tamil, Tamil Nadu. Nadu, one more is popping up and Andhra that is Pradesh. from uh, Andhra Pradesh. Yes, yes, right, right, right. So, so from there also it's coming. But mm. the fact is we are talking from Delhi. Delhi. So we are broadcasting the program from Delhi, but it is being heard. It yes. is being heard in Andhra. Yes. It is being heard in Kerala. Right. It is being heard in the far flung, I must say, the South Indian states right. down south. Right. So uh, the area is very vast. Okay. Right. Uh, the distance from Delhi to uh, Andhra Pradesh or the Kerala is uh, very vast. Right. But the broadcasting is being heard. So we have used a very broad area. Hmm. We are broadcasting and we are covering a very broad area while we are broadcasting. broadcasting. That's why it is called the Broadcasting. Broadcasting, right? Yes. So sir. it is broadcasting. Anything would you like to say on this? Uh, in simple language, broadcast cover a vast distance or landmass. Huh. A so, vast distance of yes. the landmass, yes. right? So this is broadcasting. And in the same term, my dear friends, we are going to understand one more term. And that term is called, uh, that you can say here, uh, that's uh, already uh, visible for you. And what's written here, this is narrow casting. Yes. So what is narrow casting, Vimlesh? Uh, it is just opposite. Uh, broad means wide area. And mm -hmm. narrow means uh, short area. 
when a radio signals magnetic signals are put or uh, thrown on a short geographical area hmm. that is narrow casting that is narrow casting uh, it right? can be a fm channel these can be a radio, community radio stations when we are focusing on special uh, specific area that is narrow casting that means the radius is very limited limited okay? less like when we talk about the community radio yes. the total range is not more than 15 kilometers 15 kilometers ha, so yes, it is sir. the narrow cast narrow cast okay yes. and also when we talk about the i mean fm FM also covers maximum 60 kilometers. 60 kilometers. Our programs can be relayed. That is some another issue. But uh, narrow casting means using the less, less uh, landmass. Uh, less landmass. Yes. That is what? So it is the narrow casting, right? Or so, focusing on a specific problem. Huh. On on specific problem, when we yes. go for the community radio, community radio. And, and especially it is very specific for the community radio, like they used to a particular human group. Right. They... they uh, deal with a particular i mean particular uh, i mean particular issue or a particular specific language language they deal with that or with the social issue right so now we are coming to the main content and uh, now we are going to talk about the uh, formats of the radio program and all of you can see that formats okay formats of the radio program so format number 1 it comes format number 1 it comes uh, all of you can see that it is documentary. Yes, sir. Uh, you can note it down and it's a very popular, I mean, uh, it's a very popular format. Uh, I would like to say one thing, my dear friends. If you go overseas, if you go anywhere, you cannot just say that I produce audio program. I produced a program. Uh, uh, like uh, if I ask that, okay, now we are going to do a drama. So, Vimlesh, you are uh, a radio producer. Yes, what do sir. you produce here? I produced a program, sir. You produce program. What yes, program sir. do you produce? I produced a radio program, sir. <laughs> radio program, okay. Radio program, audio program, okay. But uh, what program? What program? Uh, I think I am unable to express myself to uh, you. Sir, which can be listened? Which can be listened. Oh, uh, that means, again, we have come to audio program. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> again, we have come to audio <laughs> program. Uh, yes. Yeah, just... <laughs> huh, right. So, uh, so audio program, audio program yes. is okay, but uh, I am not clear, Vimlesh, about it. Mm -hmm. You produce audio program. So, yes. uh, but audio program, I would like to say, my dear friends, that uh, audio program is also categorized yes. into many formats. formats. So now we are going to, and I must say that there is an international grammar, international media grammar, and that categorizes the program. Actually, format means the style of presentation. Style of presentation. Style of presentation. <laughs> so, format number one is called the radio documentary. Yes. What is a documentary? We are going to talk on this right now. And uh, uh, hmm. we can we can say that, uh, what do you think it is a, what do you think about a radio uh -huh. documentary? Documentary means which is based on facts only. But which is which is based on facts only. Facts only. Yes, okay. Sir. Right. Uh, that is documented also. That is documented also. Yes, sir. Hmm? Uh, radio documentary is a spoken verse with huh? supported music, huh? radio format, uh, devoted non-fiction narratives. Achha, non fiction that Jesus. means the imagination is not allowed imagination is not allowed ha, imagination Jesus. is not allowed that ha. means if i think something yani it must be based on the fact and Facts. not on a fiction yes sir not on a fiction okay right okay. Ha, yes so in documentary there can be a print material and audio can be used yeah uh, print material yes very true um, and audio also can be because used. print material that is documented documented right then and audio can be used for vi video can be audio used. video can be the electronic documentation, documentation right hmm? manuscripts tablets inscriptions letter diaries and photos can be used to for authenticity of the document uh, authenticity of the document documentary so uh, we can summarize it by saying so that uh, that documentary must ha huh, we can see here in the screen we yes. can see here right now hmm. right now in the screen that it must have the authenticity authenticity or the historicity right uh, i cannot simply think that because i like hmm. to write uh, hmm. some story on the imagination that is documentary that is not not right so here we can see on the screen that hmm. these are the details hmm. of the documentary uh, right in documentary generally we have two voices only it can be male or female. Hmm. So in documentary, we do not have scope to uh, add five or six characters in one program. Achha, in documentary, yes, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it is based on facts only. 
तो वन कैन मेल और वन कैन फीमेल बी इन अ वन डॉक्यूमेंट शेल वी डू अ ड्रामा ऑन दिस वट इज अ डॉक्यूमेंट्री वी वुड लाइक टू ब्रिंग होम टू दिस फैक्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू बाय वेरी स्मॉल ड्रामा राइट it's a kind of the couplet i would like to say okay so imagine uh, now assume that i am sitting in my room and vimlesh is the head of my department and she is she is calling me yes right. okay i am sitting train train uh, ajit uh, please come into my room uh, okay ma'am i am i am coming i am coming i am coming in a short while okay right please have a seat uh, thank you thank you uh, so you have to make a documentary i have to make a documentary yes. okay fine uh, is there any topic on this yes there is a topic on azadi ka amrit mahotsav azadi ka amrit mahotsav on right. that i have to produce the document documentary okay uh, is there any timeline uh, uh, you have to produce within 2 days within 2 days uh, i would like to say ma'am that within 2 days it's not possible uh, because uh, the topic is so vast and for that i need to go to uh i need to go to the akashwani i need to go to all india but radio but it's urgent sir you have to produce in today no, urgent but at the same time ma'am it needs the research i know i need to go to delhi public library also yes. because you are talking about uh, azadi ka amrit mahotsav amrit mahotsav so i need to have the voice of mahatma gandhi right i need to have the voices of so many freedom hmm. fighters so for for that i need at least within two days it cannot happen yes. i would like to say that kindly allow me to uh Uh, have at least three days so that I can, uh, I mean, collect the research material, okay. followed by the scripting, okay. and then I will produce. So, can you request them to at least for one week? Yes, uh, you can do in a one week. So, it is based on the facts only. So, we have to collect by going to national library, and uh, it we have to go to the AIR also archival. We have to use. So, we have to collect facts huh. for that. We need time. if we are writing fiction so we can write in a one day or two day in one day in even, one day it can be produced that but depends on the mood yes, on your writing mood like for the documentary purpose you need time ha huh. because we need to have a research research a kind of research it's a very vast topic my dear friends but we are now moving ahead and now we are going to the next great docu drama ha huh. uh, we are going to the next and uh, this is called the docu drama what do you mean by docu drama uh docu drama is also based on facts only ha it's also based on the fact as uh, hmm. uh, i think there are two words here hidden two words yes docu plus drama drama right drama is based on the facts but why do we need the drama drama is uh, uh, to reduce the monotony monotony yes yes say it can be a more uh, interesting or entertaining also ha huh. and uh, in engaging also like so, uh, i assume that only if two voices are speaking yes. continuously hmm. speaking it can be a little bit uh, monotonous right. you yes, know and yes. uh, hmm. maybe the audience may get bored bored but so, uh, if it is presented in uh, the drama format hmm. so it can be entertaining and engaging also very engaging right yes. and at the same time it can also be backed by the sound effects sound effects and the music also and, and the music so and the uh, docu drama we can have uh, more than two artists more than so, two artists yes. artists yes we can have five to six artists ha five to six so uh, that is the uh, we mm. can say interesting thing of the docu drama ha that is very interesting like uh, when we listen to ha but one thing more Five to six is okay. Yes. Like four to five artists are okay because uh, if artists are so much, you know, the audience will be uh, not able to remember that who is the artist. They will be confused. They will be confused, and the voices must be distinct, distinct. so that each and every voice can be Recognized. identified. Can, uh, can be identified. So that is called the docu drama. Docu drama. Like we talk about uh, one example. Uh, uh, we can have one example, and that is like uh, if we are going to produce the program on. uh maybe jaliya wala bag right so how will we produce the docu drama on this yes so it will go like this my dear friends and it will go like this like uh, in the beginning as the narrator narrator is or uh, hmm. maybe we both are the i mean narrators and we are talking about that day that friends uh, it was uh, the day of the baisakhi and uh, we are going to talk about jaliya wala bag and uh, it was overcrowded the jallianwala bag was being overcrowded yes. and so many people were coming and coming and coming and coming and would like to say you um, and would like to share with you one thing that uh, it had only one door, one door only one gate and the uh, and the crowd was coming and the crowd was coming but at the same time something happened <laughs> right and then right. we stop here okay 
Right. And after that, the musical interval will be there. That the music, Shari. that the English, uh, uh, I mean, army. Army uh, is coming. Army footsteps can be. Uh, footsteps added. can be there. And uh, then there can be a drama like, uh, mm -hmm. I have already issued the orders to them that no must come together. And I have already, uh, and I have already implied, uh, I mean, 144, but uh, how dare, how dare they come together like this? So I would like to do one thing. I would like to do one thing that uh, I must give them a good lesson. lesson. I must give them a good lesson. And then I will command to the, uh, I mean, troop, fire. And then the sound of the fire will be there. And yes. the people running and they are uh, um, running here and there, uh, wounded people and the crying. So the sound effect is there. So it becomes very interesting. Interesting. Yes. We are going with to the, the next. Facts only. Uh -huh. With the uh, Ha, hmm. But with the facts only. Hmm. Uh, whatever had happened, we have to conceive the facts from the history and then we have to convert them into the drama. Drama. Right. So we are going to the next format now. Next format is called the radio magazine. Yes, sir. So about radio magazine, hmm. about radio magazine, we can uh, like, uh, we have this, okay. Uh, we are sorry, this is not the magazine. Uh, <laughs> it's a registered, but at the same time, we are going to uh, give a demo to you. What is a radio magazine? Uh, when we think about the magazine, all of you must have uh, uh, all of you must have remembered your school magazine. Okay, when the school magazine comes, what do we do? Like it's a like yes. it's a school magazine. Yes. Okay. So it is page. Uh, it is a cover page. Cover page. What is here, Bimlesh? This is a school building, sir. Very Achha. nice. No, ah, very nice. Very nice. School building is very nice. Yes. So it is right. But I would like to smell it. Mm. Uh, printing is good. Okay, right. So now we are going to the next and uh, okay, we turn the page. What is here? So this is an editorial. Editorial written, written by the principal, sir. Okay, good, good. Good article. He writes very well. Yes, sir. He writes very well, but uh, well, but uh, I'm in search of something else. Yes. Uh, what's here? Wow, it's a wonderful story, sir. Ah, it's a wonderful story. It's a wonderful story. But Vimlesh, it was written by you on that day. On that day, you were hiding it, isn't it? <laughs> you did not tell on that day that you are writing a wonderful story, right? And the title mm. of the story is Biyamma. Yes. Sir. Right, right. Very good. Very good. Mm. And also one more, st one more story is there. That is the birthday of Kunjamma. Mm. Right? <laughs> okay, very good. Very good. So this is the story and we go to the next. Uh, this is a uh, poem, sir. This is poem, right. Mm. Followed by a cartoon. Yes, sir. Right? Hmm. So, what you have seen, uh, my dear friends, as we continue to turn the pages, the item changed. Yes, sir. Item changed. Okay. The content is being changed. Ah, the content is being changed. Uh, hmm. On page number one, we saw that the, that the, uh, there was the editorial, yes, then the story, story, and the other things were there. So uh, the same with the radio magazine also. So when we uh, produce a program, when we broadcast a program, we do one thing. That we uh, we provide or we we provide to our listeners the variety of, variety the, of the program. I mean variety. Like it can be documentary. It can like be a it, ha, it can be fiction. It can ha, be a poem. It can be anything else. Like uh, one example here. Uh, friends, welcome to all of you in our broadcast by CIT and CRT. And we are going to listen to a radio magazine by yes. CIT and CRT. But uh, in the beginning, so my dear friends, I believe that all of you are driving right now. And, and it's a wonderful morning. And uh, the arrival of the, I must say, the winter has also, has also knocked a wonderful weather. And would like to say that uh, why not to start with a wonderful recital, uh, I mean, being being played by the Antonio Paderowski. So we are going to listen to this uh, wonderful piano piece. And after that, I would not tell you what we are going to share with you, but hold on to us. So after listening to this, we are going to have something else. So now here the piano piece goes on. And now? Now it's a story time. So now we are going to listen a beautiful story. A beautiful story about Biyamma. Yes. Okay. A beautiful story about Biyamma. And uh, then my dear friends, just one thing uh, I would like to announce, but it's going to be a suspense, you know, and the suspense will be like this, that after that, we are going to make you listen to a voice 
and you have to <laughs> recognize the voice okay that who is that celebrity who is that celebrity and uh, you can just uh, i mean click on the on your mobile on your system and you can respond to us yes. right so friends we have seen that here we have we have presented two three kind of uh, i mean varieties of the program right like we said in the beginning that we are going to have a music recital then okay. she said that it's story. a story and then we said that we are going to have an interview yes not interview a voice listen to a voice huh, to listen to a voice so there is a variety variety so this is called the radio, radio magazine Achha, what can be i mean some more elements on a radio magazine uh, it can be a talk also so it can be a panel discussion it can be a drama it can be an interview huh? so many aspects uh, in uh, or in can can be a, in radio magazine yes yes so it can be a song it can be a drama it can be an interview so variety is there ha huh. intertwined between a uh, i mean particular segment yes. like uh, we can broadcast a magazine for half an hour right or maybe for one hour so it is uh, i mean filled with the i mean different kind of the varieties it can be anything it else it creates curiosity also sir it creates cur i mean curiosity because the listeners will guess that what next what next but one thing is very important my dear friends that uh, it depends on how you speak yes how you speak if there is no life inside we cannot uh, impart the life outside yes sir right so it's very important uh, uh, because when we talk about the video video uh, has uh, i must say the visual aid okay visual aids. but in audio it is not in audio it is not it depends on how do you talk because we have nothing only we have one thing that is the microphone yes that is the microphone and uh, uh, someone has very uh, very creatively i mean commented that radio broadcasting is talking to a blind friend yes sir it is talking to a blind friend why we say so when we uh, we do not have any visual aids as uh, as has said already said a listener is not going to yes, uh, see, see us, see us and huh? we are also not seeing them ha, so we are not huh? seeing each other, each other but yes. we are connected through the voice only, voice only yes, sir. so uh, radio broadcasting is talking to a blind friend and one more quote all of you must have heard but uh, i will say half of the quote and she is going to complete the quote and it is said that if you are smiling with a microphone the world is going to smile with you yes if you will cry with the microphone the world is going to cry with you the world is going to cry with you so that is what uh, about i mean audio program is yes. it is the art of uh, art of the modulation depends on the modulation depends on so that. we are coming to the next uh, i mean point now and that's very uh, this is called the radio feature okay this is called the radio feature and uh, what do we understand by feature that we have to see now um uh, that's very important yes. so radio feature so i would like uh, now bimlesh to speak on this what do you mean by a feature a feature means a distinctive attribute or aspect of something distinctive attribute, attribute. or yes, aspect sir. of something that yes, means sir. there are so many attributes right out of so many attributes we have to choose focus on one, one attribute right yes sir okay feature okay. focuses on only on one aspect out hmm. of many aspect hmm. of a place it can be a personality music hmm. flora hmm. fauna hmm. so out of many uh, attributes we have to choose or we have to focus only one attribute that is a feature that's a feature okay yes, right sir. so that's a feature uh, anything else like uh, do you have any example of any book or anything else yes sir we can take example of bahurup gandhi bahurup that means uh, 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 gandhi ji as a versatile personality as a, as a versatile person a multifaceted uh, multi personality yes, sir, yes, yes sir. right it is produced published by the ncert Uh, do you my dear friends agree with uh, gandhi ji was multifaceted person yes. he was a good writer, writer he was a good orator also mm -hmm. uh, not with a good voice of course but uh, he was a good orator and at the same time a very good saint and yes. uh, he was a versatile personality versatile. so uh, we have what we have understood now that gandhi ji had many aspects, aspects. of his personality yes, yes? he was a, as uh, sir said he was a writer commander saint he was an auctioneer also hmm. he was as an satyagrahi satyagrahi also so we are focusing only on one aspect of gandhi ji only on one aspect of the gandhi, gandhi ji ji. okay right so yes. uh, like uh, if i say that produce a program on uh, gandhi ji as a freedom fighter so there yes. are so many programs so many programs uh, if i say that uh, uh, i mean produce a program on gandhi ji as a writer there yes. are so many programs so programs so what is there is something new new what we are going to speak to like uh, i would like to say uh, 
यानी प्रोड्यूस समथिंग विच नो वन हैज प्रोड्यूस हाँ राइट समथिंग विच नो वन हैज रिटन रिटन सो इन बहुरूप गांधी माय डियर फ्रेंड्स देर इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इंसिडेंट एंड जस्ट वुड लाइक टू लेंड योर इयर्स राइट नाउ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इवेंट एंड दैट इज इट वॉज द आई मीन इवेंट इट वॉज वन ऑफ द इंसिडेंट्स इन बॉम्बे Uh, he was an auctioneer also so we are uh, going to talk about the gandhi ji as an auctioneer ha auctioneer but how it comes now yes. we are going to talk on that like uh, gandhi ji was a, a general yes. gandhi ji was a writer, writer. gandhi ji was a speaker okay so, all know huh. but uh, very few know my dear friend that he was an auctioneer, auctioneer also. also auctioneer and gandhi ji yes okay so we have to be innovative also ha we need to be very innovative. innovative so now we would like to play a drama yes sir we would like to play a drama right now and uh, by this you will understand what do you mean by gandhi ji as an auctioneer Auction. okay right right so uh, i am going to give you a uh, one uh, scene that you need to imagine right now it is bombay and there is a ground and yes. gandhi and gandhi ji is speaking to the audience and so many people are there and so many rich people are there yes and they are donating they are donating a big amount okay for the freedom fighter and gandhi ji was there to raise the fund uh, for the national uh, i mean freedom, freedom moment <laughs> okay right and on that time he was talking and people were giving and the meeting was going on so smoothly and at the same time something happened yes something happened and what happened all of a all of a sudden that, that a woman and old woman came and see what she says side please side please i want to meet uh, gandhi ji please don't stop me i want to meet gandhi ji please side 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 please hey, 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 stop 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 i want to meet please don't stop, stop me stop, please stop. i want no you cannot go why don't you stop her Why? i want to meet uh, okay so she is going to play a role of an old lady and mayank is right now playing the role of of one of the i mean person in the crowd i am playing the role of gandhi gandhi ji right so gandhi ji is a, as an auctioneer and my dear friends that uh, you need not be passive so much you know that i would like to have your uh, uh, i mean involvement on that and we are going to make a bid right now on that you all of you need to participate on this bid okay right so we are looking at you we are looking at you so be ready with your keypad so uh, we are going to start again so the meeting is going on and i am speaking to the audience so my dear friends we need to raise some fund for the national freedom movement and i hope that all of you will uh, side, donate side, donate generously side please i want to meet gandhi ji please stop stop no you please, cannot please, stop stop don't stop me i want to meet why do you stop her why do you stop her uh please uh, please tell me why have you come i want to give this lemon for the freedom struggle of india lemon yes sir <laughs> <laughs> she is giving a lemon and that for the national freedom yeah yes sir i request all of you i request all of you not to ridicule her i request all of you kindly not to laugh at her she has a great dedication for the nation i would like to tell and uh, she has offered whatever she had all of only one lemon in my all country. the rich people they have given from their uh, i mean abundance but she is giving out of she had nothing so what have you brought here i have a lemon from the lemon so what was the scene my dear friends that so many people started laughing what this uh, lemon will do uh, in this uh, national freedom uh, i mean moment lemon and that old lady was saying that this is only what i had what i had i had nothing i had only this uh, i mean piece of lemon which i found from a garden and i have given it for uh, uh, i want to give it for the freedom uh, national uh, i mean national freedom movement so gandhi ji started one thing okay friend so we do not need to ridicule at, at her i appreciate i appreciate your, your dedication i appreciate your dedication so i would like to make a bid right now okay and uh, i request all of you my dear friends kindly to join in this bid okay so i am starting now okay so this is lemon in my hand lemon in my hand and i would like to say 101 101 101 101 500 500 501 600 600 600 650 650, 650 and uh, i am seeing that even the uh, i mean online bid is also coming it is also coming 700 has come 700 1000 1000 1001 1001 1100 1100 and uh, uh, 
Uh, can you see uh, 2000 it has come here 2000 2000 right 1500 it has come a li little bit less okay right 3000 is there uh, 3000 3001 3001 3001 3001 5000 5, 5, 5, 5, wonderful wonderful what uh, what a wonderful momentum right now 5000 10000 10000 10000 10, 10, thank you thank you Thank you very much, my dear friends. Thank you very much, my dear friends. So uh, we have earned for our national freedom movement right now. How much? 10,000. Out of a simple lemon. Yes. A simple lemon. So would like to say, would like to say that, uh, look at the dedication. Right. We should not look only at uh, how much people can give, but we have to look at the dedication and, and see this one single piece of the lemon has done a miracle. Okay, so my dear friends, uh, uh, it's not a fiction, it's a fact. It's a fact, and it's mentioned on that book, Bahuru oh, Gandhi. So, out of so many attributes, he was a good writer, and about uh, his writing skill, uh, one uh, BBC journalist uh, he commented that uh, uh, when he uh, he used to write by both his head, by both of his hands, when he was tired of looking by right hand, he used to continue to write by the left, left hand. hand. Okay, it is one of the attributes. But Gandhi ji as an auctioneer, yes, isn't isn't it wonderful? It's nice. Okay, right. So now we are going to the next, and uh, the next uh, uh, is. Uh, but would like to have your uh, response right now. That uh, did you understand this story so well, so that we are also confident that we are we are speaking and we are. Right, right, right. We can we can see here and uh, use your messages. You can send your messages. Yeah, uh, we can yes. see. Um, uh, yes, is coming. Right, very inspiring. That's very good. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, right, right. Because we are also encouraged, and yes. uh, we are also encouraged by your participation. Right. It is a reciprocity. It, it, mm -hmm. It's not something very boring. Okay, mm -hmm. now we are going to tell you something about radio. We are not going to speak like that. Yes. Right. So. Uh, Achha, very nice. Right, <laughs> right. Amazing session. Yes. Now some good words are coming. <laughs> thank you very much. Beautiful, sir and ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we are now going to the next. So Gandhi ji as an auctioneer. It is one of the radio formats. Right. Radio format. So you will say that what I will do by this radio format. So uh, uh, you can choose uh, a student. You can talk to a student Matab, who can be, uh, uh, I mean, uh, specially abled. Yes. Who can be challenged. But out of so many attributes, you can highlight one of his attributes. Right. You can share that in the WhatsApp group. Right. You can produce a wonderful program on that. And, and behold, you will see that uh, the level of the inspiration will be on the sky. Right. Isn't it? So it is like that. So we are coming to the next. So now, my dear friends, here comes one more uh, feature uh, mm. uh, of the formats of the radio program. So, so far, uh, how many, uh, I mean, formats we have uh, Discussed. We have discussed about the documentary. Documentary. Then after that, we have discussed docudrama. Docudrama, right? And uh, we have discussed about um, radio magazine also. Radio magazine, right? And uh, after that, uh, we have discussed about the radio feature. Radio feature, right? Yes. Now we are going to talk about the radio talk. So what is a radio talk, Vimlesh? Uh, we can say this is also a radio talk, sir. We are talking to our friends. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so this is also a radio talk. Ha. And uh, but what are the requirements? Requirements, of, yes. Of a radio talk. Uh, for radio talk, uh, uh, requires a presenter, or uh, we have to call a subject expert also. Like I am the presenter, you are the subject expert. We right now, we can say like this. Also. We can assume like yes. this. Okay, ha. Then and uh, we have to decide the topic. So, friends, uh, we would like to say that if you call anyone, yes. like uh, uh, if you want uh, anyone to speak on a particular but, topic, yes. you must invite a person yes. and then you must go for a research. Research. Right? Hmm. So, he must be a subject expert. Subject expert. Huh. Anything yes. else? After that, uh, uh, rehearsal is also required. Without rehearsal, we cannot do uh, live or radio talk. How we cannot go on yes, air? Yes, on air. So, uh, rehearsal is also required. A so, proper... for the rehearsal, I think uh, the script will be required. Uh, for rehearsal purpose, uh, mm. a script is required. And yes, we yes. have to uh, maintain the time also. Uh, yes, yes, of course, of course. So, like so, most of the times mm. what happens that mm. we are asked to write only for five minutes, yes. but the script goes for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Uh, so, we cannot mm. control our mm. greed, you know, yes. to write more. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. So, uh, nothing should be spontaneous. It should be well written, well rehearsed, when, uh, well uh, executed also. Huh. 
like if i'm speaking on the microphone like uh, it is broadcasting going on okay and i'm speaking yes and if i speak something which is not required matlab no one can catch my mouth right i cannot be stopped ha at the time of on air so so you need to you need to call a person you need to call a person sit with them over a cup of i mean coffee or tea and to talk and to prepare the script and mm. then to go for a talk right right so this is one of the very important formats and for the teachers yes i think talk format is mostly used used okay right so this is the talk format so now we are going to the next uh and uh, this uh word you can see that it is uh vox populi that is a french word it's a french word yes sir so what do you mean by vox vox is the voice and the populi means people uh, that so means the voice of the people voice of the people hmm. so how it is done uh vox populi is mostly the outdoor recording in which the producer goes into the real situation okay that means it is not being recorded in the studio, studio yes. we go outside yes, right hmm. so we have to take our producer have to take an opinion of a particular topic hmm. like it can be a price hike it can be pollution hmm. it can be on election also hmm. it can be on cleanliness so anything uh, any problem can be taken and it should be outdoor only like you can hmm. i mean can you uh, give a demonstration on how you do like uh, yes. i am sitting in the market mm -hmm. and uh, well uh, sir uh, would you like to tell about the price hike a uh, price hike yes sir you have raised a very relevant question of course the price hike is there but it has now become the international phenomena but yes i would like to say that it's now very difficult to survive sometimes so, right so okay we got the uh, opinion from the public so now we are we have to go to the studio and uh, we have to mix with the narration and opinion of the people voice of the people and then program will be completed like you can do a uh, vox populi in a class yes like you can talk to your students that uh, yes. how do you like the teaching teaching okay. or uh, uh, how it went uh, or uh, uh, what content should be te te uh, teach uh, uh, what content should be given yes and at the same time so many questions okay and then you can organize all the i mean opinions of the students right. followed by your comment comment and you will see my dear friends that the, that the class will really be encouraged encouraged the class will be encouraged that even my voice was yes. taken even i was being heard. heard okay right so this is the vox populi now uh, looking at the time uh, we have 15 uh, 15 to 20 minutes more looking at the time now we are coming to one very important aspect of uh, the uh, of i mean creating the e content so now we are going to the next uh, this we have already seen we can what go to the next mm. right mm. and here we see uh, writing for the radio yes <laughs> uh, this is a topic which uh, we, we like most broadcasting is okay like uh, yesterday uh, we were there in uh, afka kaushal bhavan yes. and uh, the isro chief uh, dr somnath he was saying that going to space is not a difficult task. difficult task you simply sit in a rocket and go yes and you are going to the space right. okay but actually coming back is very difficult right so like that i mean broadcasting is uh, broadcasting is easy Yes. But before that, you have to face so many challenges. Right. How to make your broadcasting interesting. Yes. How to make it, as you have used the word, uh, communicative, more engaging. Engaging. Right? Interesting. Huh. So, we are going to talk about writing for the radio. radio. Yes. So, writing for the radio means, uh, we have a slogan, huh? right. wonderful slogan, and that is, uh, you can note it down, my dear friends, and uh, you can type also that. Uh, you can type that slogan also, so that we are ensured that you are listening to this uh, writing for radio is uh, writing for the ears writing for the ears right writing for radio script is very important in radio in talk. radio talk hmm. writing for the radio is writing for the ears is, uh, one more message uh, one message i am seeing that that is being typed here right writing for radio is writing for the ears yes ah uh, yes hmm. so thank you very much for this wonderful message and uh, i think this message will inspire others also to type yes right so now we are going to uh, have a greater detail on this mm. writing for radio is writing, writing for, for the ears. ears okay so uh, what are the important things that we have to see right yes. now okay uh, you can see one thing that uh, we are saying that onomatopoeic words yes ono onomatopoeic words uh, what do you mean by this on this uh, uh, on this uh, now 
now we are going to focus and at the same time one more thing is there and it comes like a slogan your script must sound sound your script must have a sound yes sir. okay your script must mm. sound one is there so here comes a comparison right now what are the onomatopoeic words go to the next right mm. so about the onomatopoeic words you can see the comparison we have uh, created two columns left and the right yes sir so the <laughs> left is uh, a simple writing yes sir and the right is uh, onomatopoeic writing onomatopoeic. Achha, onomatopoeic means uh, the uh, sense of sound accommodation of sound ha accommodating the sound mm -hmm. or uh, uh, in hindi okay uh, i will speak in hindi also uh, dhvani alankar okay yes. dhvani matlab whenever you uh, denote a sound with yes. a particular word or the syllable that is the onomatopoeia okay yes, sir. so uh, here uh, uh, we are going to make a comparison like comparison come uh, yes. comparison comes like this comparison number 1 the cup fell from the table the, the Huh. The cup fell from the table. The cup fell from the table. Uh, okay, good. Hmm. Um, I have come to know. Mm -hmm. What I have come to know? That the cup fell from the table. Yes. That's all. So it's simply an information. Yes. But when you write for the radio, you will write like this. The cup fell from the table and broke. And broke. Yes. So what happened here? Uh, and broke. So here is an onomatopoeic word. Huh? That is broke. Huh, broke. So the sound of breaking of the cup can be added ha uh, i mean can be added and it's also a a clue to the producer yes, that when this sentence is being written you need to create a sound effect sound effects right yes. acha we come to uh, point number 2 there were birds sitting on the tree hmm. it's also a very simple information yes. there were birds sitting on the tree fine okay but how to write it uh, i mean onomatopoeically yes how to write it more creatively how to write for radio also or how to write for the ears yes. and not only for the eyes, eyes right yes. ha huh? yes the bird sitting on the tree that is for video chirped so sweetly so this is uh, being made for the audio hmm. so chirping sound can be added in this with this sentence hmm. the birds sitting on the tree chirp so sweetly so sweetly that means uh, uh we are talking about the birds yes. but at the same time we are talking about uh, the tree also tree. and uh, but how to uh, show the tree maybe the wind will come and uh, we can Chirping listen to the, the wrestling of hmm. wrestling of the leaves and yes. at the same time the chirping of the birds yes so it, this is the onomatopoeic expression right so we are coming to the next now a river flows by my village ha huh. good information a yes. river flows by by my village okay yes. but uh, how to write it for the radio or in other words how to write for, for the, the ears yeah for the ears so it's awesome to listen to the alluring sound of the river ah ah alluring sound of the river flows by my river ah, village ah flows by by my village yani uh, ek nadi ki awaaz ko sunna bada adbhut hai jo mere gaon ke paas se nikalti hai yes. so we have a wonderful uh, opportunity to add the sound effect of a river river okay right mm. and also the night effect can also be there village effect can be added village effect can be there uh, but uh, uh, i think all of you would like the second choice mm -hmm. it's awesome to listen to the alluring sound of the river flows Close by, by my village by my village last example we are seeing and uh, yes beethoven was a great musician ha, but uh, uh, it's the information but yes. it is not given us any it is not giving us any reference ha. like uh, what uh, beethoven used to play, play. or yes. what he did okay he was a musician means uh, maybe he was a violin player he was an guitarist also maybe hmm. but the uh, being very precise and yes. very specific we say beethoven was a great pianist and composer ha beethoven was a great pianist and the composer so yes. these are the onomatopoeic expressions, expressions right so whenever you write for the radio radio means the audio yes right radio doesn't mean uh, i mean mechanical, mechanical set mechanical set old one sets ha huh. old one sets that uh, that we are not uh, basically focusing on ha huh. yeah. that we are not basically focusing on that is not meant for <laughs> so this these are the onomatopoeic expressions. expressions now we come to the next now we come to the next and you can see here that writing for radio is writing for the ears yes right what does it mean uh for uh, in radio we do not have a camera hmm. we do not have visual aids hmm. we just have a microphone microphone and uh, as holiday sir said 
we are talking to a blind friend. Ah, we are talking to a blind friend and yes. our challenge is to hmm. make that blind friend see, see. through the Eyes. ears. Yes. Right? Hmm. So, okay. So, uh, now we are going to uh, give you some example of some, I mean, creative expressions. Like uh, how to say in the radio, how to express in the radio. How to write creative for the radio. How to write very creatively for the radio. Like uh, there can be a piece of poem. Yes. And there can be 1000 ways of the expression. Expressions. Okay. But uh, as the teacher, you need to set an example. Example. That this is the way it has to be presented. Like. This is the way it has to be rendered. This is the way it has to be pronounced. Right? So uh, we are now going to... Uh, we are now going to have some example. So, like, uh, uh, there are two kinds of writing. One is the informative uh, informative writing. And second is the creative, creative writing. writing. So, informative writing says... Life is very busy and we have no time. Okay. Uh, but it sounds very simple, isn't yes. it? Yes. Huh? Right. It sounds very simple. But if I need to write it for the radio, and mm. if I like to inspire the people, mm. if I like to engage my people... Yes. Like uh, we believe that we are engaging you, right? So uh, what did you say, Bimlesh? Life is very busy and we have no time. And we have no time. But uh, creatively, I will say, what is life if full of care? We have no time even to stand and stare. Yes. Right? So that's a very creative expression. Creative expression. So if I say to, if someone will say, <laughs> life is very busy and we have no time. Okay, we listen to it every day. Yes. No, <laughs> What is life if full of care? We have no time even to stand and stand. We have no time. Khade ho ke dekhne ka bhi samay nahi. Zindagi itni vyast ho gai hai. So this is one of the very, I must say, a very, very creative expression. Yes. Now, let's come to the next. Next, thank you for coming. Sometimes it sounds very, very formal. Formal. Because I came, so you thanked me. Yes. Okay, so out of courtesy, you... You said thank you for coming. But if I write very creatively, how will I write to this? Thank you for the compliment of your visit. Thank you for the compliment of your visit. And the and the one who is listening to your compliment will be, you know, he, he will be amazed. He will yes. be filled with the joy that even I came and he is thinking that it is a compliment on me. Right. So complimenting. Visit has become a compliment. So this is the, I mean, the creative writing yes or the creative expressions okay let us go to the next forest was beautiful and uh, i wanted to stay but had some work so could not stay huh. read it again forest <laughs> was beautiful and uh, i wanted to stay forest was beautiful and i wanted to say stay but had some work so could not stay so could not stay okay but... Okay, uh, even I could not stay on that day. I saw kuch bol diya hai na? Lekin if I want to say it very, uh, in a very creative way. Yes. Look how Robert Frost, hmm. uh, one of the, uh, I mean, American actually poet, the poet of the nature he is called. And uh, I do not know who is the, I mean, poet of the nature in South India. Here in uh, uh, in North India, we, we consider Sumitra Nandan Panth. Hmm. Uh, so how he writes, see, uh, you you read it again? Forest was beautiful and I wanted to stay, hmm. but had some work, so could not stay. Huh. So could not stay. Yes. So now I will I would like to say it like this. And see, when I'm seeing, when I'm when I'm recording it, hmm. I need to set an example. Right. How to pronounce, how to modulate, yes. how to express. I cannot record it like this. Woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep no. Uh, it is not allowed at all. Yes. I need to set an example by reading it like this. Woods are lovely, dark and deep. Woods are lovely, dark and deep. But I have promises to keep and miles to go before I, I sleep. sleep. Yes. So this is something which is going to give you the expression. Right. So this is the expression and miles to go. And uh, miles means uh, it is not one inch. Yes. Okay, miles means long. So yes. what I have to, I have to render it long. Yes. The word miles. And then I have to say before I sleep, woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. Yes. So he, so here is the expression, right? right? So radio is a very powerful medium. And as we uh, were able to connect it with the NEP also. Yes. So now we are going to the next. 
uh, it's very important and I personally believe on this. <laughs> right. In queries, try to keep quiet. Haan, but it uh, sounds to me like a lecture. Haan, yes. Like Ubdesh, hmm. gyan dena hota hai na? Hmm, hmm. Ye aisa lag hai. In queries, try to keep quiet. Haan, but if I say like this, you must know to speak silence. Ah, ha, ha. Silence can ha, silence can also be speak. Uh, silence, silence can also be spoken. Yes. Right? Read it again. So you must know to speak silence while quarreling. Huh? While quarreling. Uh, this statement is not saying that you should not speak. Yes. This is saying that speak, but silence. speak the silence. Right. <laughs> right? So that's very uh, I must say a very I mean creative way to express. The feelings, you must know how to speak silence while quarreling. Yes. So the one to whom you are saying, he will just keep, uh, I mean, quiet because, for, I mean, first of all, he will not understand the frame of the sentence. Hmm. Okay. What did he say? So by that time, he will be calmed down. Okay. Right? right. So now we are coming to the next. And that is? Writing for radio is a skill. Writing for radio is a skill. So that's what we are talking about. Yes. But uh, uh, how to say it more creatively? Writing for radio is writing visually for the ears. Uh -huh. Writing for radio is writing visually, visually for the ears. Uh, visually for the ears. Uh, right. So uh, I must say it's a beautiful sentence. Yes. Right? Writing for radio is writing visually for the ears. So these are some examples. So now we are going to the next. And uh, yes. And it's going to be the last part of our, I mean, session. Session. Uh, the last part of our of our session. So we uh, talked about writing creatively. Yes. Uh, just have a recap. Uh, in the beginning, we uh, uh, we heard a story yes. of, of a painter. Yes. Who stopped doing painting because he was so satisfied by his by his performance. Right. Uh, I um, I'm a producer. Hmm. I had been a producer. Vimlesh is a producer. Uh, Mayank Ji is with us. He is a recordist. And we cannot say that whatever we have done is right now the final. Yes. Nothing best can be done. Yes. Not like this. So we have heard about the uh, about that painter. And uh, this is the story of uh, Greece. This is the story of Greece. And uh, uh, the name of this painter was Pygmalion. Right? Mm -hmm. ha, ha, Pygmalion was the key painter. painter. And he was also a sculptor. He was okay. also the same. So, and later on, the history tells that he contributed wonderful pieces of the painting later on. Yes. After realizing that this is not the end. Yes. So, end of my creativity. Yes. So, after that, we came to NEP. Yes. Then we came to documentary. Docu formats of the radio programs. That uh -huh. is documentary, docudrama, radio magazine. It was audio to, uh, radio talk also. Hmm. And we talk about the Vox Populi also. Right. After that, we have... Uh, the onomatopoeic words. Words. Hmm. And uh, what can be an informal writing, formal writing. We have discussed about the creative writing also. Right, right. So how to write for a uh, radio in creative manner. Huh. So writing for the radio uh, is... Uh, or writing for the audio. Yes. Hmm? Writing for the ears. Writing for the audio is writing for the ears. Okay. okay, right? So now we we have come to the last and that is the do's and the don'ts. Yes. For uh, uh, writing for the radio. Okay? So number one, we would like to say that the language must be as simple as possible. Yes. It should be communicative. Uh, yes, it should be it should be communicated. Right. Uh, uh, like, uh, have you seen the FM presenters? Right. The yes. way they speak so lucidly, mm. uh, so actually flawlessly. Okay, that mm. we are captivated by the way they are presenting. Right. We are literally captivated. Oh, wow, wonderfully he is speaking. Mm. You know, so mm. we listen to and we really enjoy. Yes. Okay. Mm. So the language must be as simple as possible. Okay. Also, use I must say the local color. Yes. Local color. Yes. Like uh, all of you must have your own state expressions. Yes. Uh, the local languages. Okay. Mm, so local that can, touch we can say. Local touch we can say. Mm. And uh, then. Then for when you are writing for the radio, use uh, avoid long sentences. Avoid long sentences. Yes. Hmm? Uh, because in audio, listeners may forget what you were saying. Huh. Like so in video. Try to keep uh, as short as possible. Uh, as short as possible. The sentences must must be short. Short. Right? Hmm. So uh, we must avoid that. And then uh, we come to the next. That uh, spoken, spoken or media language is different from the bookish language. Right. The way we write in the book is not spoken basically. That's not a spoken language. That is, we can say informative. Huh, informative. Yes, right. Yes. And but we have to be creative. We need to be, we need to be creative, very creatively informative. Yes. yes. Right. We need to be like that. Hmm. So now we are coming to one more point and that is uh, 
do not uh, show your vocabulary do not uh, greet to show your vocabulary <laughs> most of the times we have the greed to show the vocabulary yes okay now you have given me the chance to write and i will show how much uh, how much uh, i mean new words we know yes okay sometimes it happens and then we are filled with the spirit of the greed right and we say that okay we are going to show and uh, sometimes we forget the target audience and we remember the one whom we need to impress right this happens most of the times so try to avoid the uh, i mean uh, high sounding words yes. high sounding words we would say that uh, we do not need to show our vocabulary yes in fact we need to communicate communicate ha, yes right ha, like uh, uh, you should focus on on our target audience ha, for whom we are writing ha, especially ha, for whom we are writing and uh, the writing becomes very important it becomes very powerful if uh, if we use anecdotes anecdotes right yes and uh, link with the theme of the program ha and link with the theme of the programs if you like any anecdote like yes. it's very important important right anecdote can also be called as the parable yes sir some modern parables you can use while uh, recording something and uh, uh, because we are connected with the story from our childhood you know uh, i have noticed one thing speaking face to face to the public that when we say that uh, we are going to share a story with you everyone's eyes hai na are fixed on our faces yes that happens most of the times so uh, avoid try to avoid the uh, long sentences try to avoid the high sounding words yes. and try to be simple as simple as possible so that will be very effective for you so we are saying to you thank you but we are going back again we are we are going to the back slide again one example i would like to say uh, in in africa when they catch the monkey they have a very different technique yes i am talking about the greed okay and uh, the same thing happens with us also uh, they have a very uh, i mean different technique to catch the monkey what do they do they will have a coconut shell and the hole uh, on that shell will be so small that only hand can go in yes but if you make it a fist it will not come out yes right if you make a fist it will not come out i would like to repeat it again uh here we can use the net here we can use some uh, i mean other means to catch the monkey but in africa it is very interesting right they take a coconut shell and they drill it and the hole is only that small in which only hand can go inside yes. hmm. but if i make it a fist it, it cannot will... go outside it, it cannot come outside it cannot come outside now what do they do that they uh, they put the grams yes grams or anything anything i mean that is eatable on that shell okay and the monkey from the tree he watches that okay that okay that something is there being kept for uh, uh, something is uh, i mean being there kept for my eating okay and then uh, people those who do then they go by or they hide uh, in any of the bushes and they simply see what the monkey will do monkey comes now we will make the action okay monkey comes and here is a hole yes. here is a hole and that is only that small in which only hand can go so inside ha so inside so we have gone inside and now we have grabbed the gram okay now we have grabbed the gram and now people will start shouting yes now people will start shouting okay now he is caught now he is caught now he is caught okay and monkey is trying his level best to uh, put his fist out but he is unable to do why because the hole is so small, small. right so uh, only to save himself only to uh, only to be saved only monkey was supposed to do one thing to free his hand or to unfist himself right and then to run away but he doesn't do why because he has a greed greed of the gram so same thing happened and that's why he is caught the monkey is caught right so would like to uh, i mean conclude right now uh, this happens with us when we write for the radio that sometimes we say that this word must be there of course you yes. know uh, i know one uh, writer and he said that even if god says na i am mm -hmm. not going to change it change you know it. and uh, we were so i mean perplexed what he is saying mm -hmm. we said sir this word is very tough and uh, the audience is not going not going your, to understand your it your student cannot be understand uh, they will not understand but he, but he says that you are saying we both were there on yes. that meeting and he said that even even god comes down you know i will not change, change that so uh, let us change that attitude and uh, let us avoid the greed of writing in a difficult words yeah. and uh, behold the radio program is going to be a wonderful program
a wonderful program. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for this. And uh, would like to have uh, your comments. Uh, how did you feel? Uh, uh, how was the session? How was the session? And uh, give me an effective presentation. Uh, the session was not uh, like teaching, but like chatting in a cafe or <laughs> not. Hmm. Thank you host for the wonderful lively session uh, thank you that's a that's a inspiring it was good example of to make one understand how to create okay thank you sir ma'am for your wonderful session excellent excellent sir excellent thank you very much thank you very much so now uh, we are uh, we are again coming online so thank you very much friends for listening to our show and uh, we are speaking from CIET NCIT Internet Radio. Yes. And uh, thank you very much for all of you have attended our session and we hope that you enjoyed it so much. So thank you for today. Uh, thank you for today. And you are also going to thank you for, I mean, tomorrow when we yes. are going to bring the program to you. So so now we conclude our program. So now allow me. I am Ajit. I am Vimlesh. And uh, our friend, uh, I mean, Mayank. So we say you goodbye for today. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much.